amazing work. All right, finally tonight, we're going to end on some good news you'll never hear from anybody in the media. Despite what I describe as the five forces that have been working to defeat this president, one to prevent him from getting elected, then to delegitimize him and get him thrown out of office, you have the media, you have the never Trumpers, you have weak establishment Republicans, you have Democrats, and of course the deep state. You know, the Trump agenda keeps seeing massive, major progress, both right here and abroad. Now, this includes big progress on the economy. Look at this. 14 states, 14, have now hit Record low unemployment numbers, including Alabama, Arkansas, Texas, Hawaii, even California, Wisconsin. Now, meanwhile, the U.S. is also seeing record low unemployment for African Americans and Hispanic Americans. And on the international front, we'll talk more about these developments later. Late last week, North Korea announcing, this is huge, little rocket man. They will suspend all ballistic missile testings and they plan to close a nuclear testing site. And according to reports tonight... Kim Jong-un also has dropped his demand that all U.S. troops leave the Korean Peninsula. They can stay in South Korea. Now, this comes ahead of the president's upcoming meeting with the North Korean dictator. Now, these major groundbreaking developments came as a shock to many in the mainstream media. One fake news CNN reporter literally became speechless. And this is priceless. Take a look. Kim Jong-un saying North Korea no longer needs any nuclear tests mid-range and intercontinental ballistic missile tests, and he's saying that the nuclear test site uh, in the northern area near the Chinese border uh, at Pungay Ri has completed its mission, therefore will likely be closed. This is an extraordinarily significant development, and frankly, a huge win for President Trump. I am really uh, almost speechless here at the pace at which North Korea has done this U-turn. And this all started with Donald Trump agreeing to sit down for a summit with Kim Jong-un. Good news for Trump, good news for the world, makes CNN speechless. That speaks volumes. Now, of course, what we're seeing tonight is just the latest in what is a long list of accomplishments. You can see right there on your screen, but you're likely to never see these things reported in the mainstream media. Now, I have been talking about, and this message of these five forces working against the president, these narratives are now dying, especially Trump-Russia collusion, and the president's agenda is working, which is good for the American people. Here's my final word tonight. It's time to put this hatred, this obsessive, compulsive hatred in the media, in the deep state, in the Democratic Party aside. Work for the American people. Work for a more peaceful, prosperous America and the world. Maybe we'll actually get along. 